Guys, this is future Janiqua here. Um, I forgot to make an intro for this video, so welcome or welcome back to my channel, and um, I hope you enjoy this video. Hello guys, I have work in like three hours, and <laughs> I'm supposed to be sleeping, so tell me why. I'm outside of the grocery store, out of, outside of Aldi's, about to go shopping because we have no groceries in the house. Y'all, I for completely forgot that you needed a quarter in order to shop here. Now, I completely forgot a quarter, so I had to go back in my car. I go into my car to get this quarter. I literally only have like, I don't really keep change, but I literally have a quarter, a dime, and a penny. <laughs> so now that I have my quarter, let's head back in the store again and get me a cart. Someone had to help me. It wouldn't work. Get this for my sister. Get this for her also. She might also want one of these. I don't know which one she would like though. I'll get her this one. Let's get a bag of potatoes. I love baby potatoes. I might make some like smashed potatoes. Let's do some orange juice. Hmm. I'll get this one. Orange juice. Get a couple of yogurts. We need some mayo also, so I'm gonna get that. Let's get some cheese. I'm gonna get cheddar and Kobe Jack. Get a couple of croissants. If you guys haven't tried these Trevardi flips, you really should, but I'm not really a fan of the s'more flavor and they don't have the flavors that I like. Let's pick up some chicken for my sister. And also some chicken breasts for my chicken strip. It is so hot out here. Okay, guys, I just got done shopping and I was fully expecting to be paying like 300 bucks. But I want y'all to guess the price. I'm going to give you guys a little grocery uh, haul and I want you guys to guess the price. It's crazy. Okay guys, I am back home and I split everything up into categories so you guys can easily understand like the breakdown of everything and I want you to guess the total before I reveal how much it actually is. So first we have the produce and the frozen produce and I got beefsteak tomatoes, avocados, baby potatoes, bananas, lettuce, uh, frozen stir fry, some strawberries, a bag of potatoes, some cherries, a pineapple, and some spinach. Next we have miscellaneous and snacks and also the meats. We have a knife set, some honey buns, some chips, popcorn, um, vanilla wafers, Klondike bars, fudge stripe cookies, 
pink salmon, chicken legs, and also some chicken breast under there. Next, we have items that go in the pantry. Um, we have some mayo, sugar, flour, tortillas, spaghetti, two bags of white rice, and some pancake mix. And this is the broad um, area. We have some dairy products, some drinks, uh, frozen food, and um, meatless uh, items, and some ready-to-eat items, and also dairy. So we have some French toast sticks, uh, meatless meatballs, uh, calzone, some hash browns, frozen onion rings, some chickenless patties, uh, Chipotle burgers, and two frozen pizzas under there. Uh, we have some yogurt, some ready-to-eat chicken egg rolls, two kombuchas, orange juice, some crescent rolls, um, two bags of cheese. We have mild cheddar and Kobe Jack, and then we have two apple juices. Before I reveal the total, I just wanted to say I was fully expecting to pay 250 to 300 for all of this so all I have to say is Walmart and Food Line could never because they are so pricey but all these may be my new go-to I do have to say like they don't have everything like they don't have everything like a regular grocery store does but they are very affordable and the grand total is a whopping 165 and 80 cents for 54 items do you guys see that so i still have money for the rest of the week and this was very affordable so i hope you guys enjoyed this like mini food haul for aldi's and i'll try to make more videos like this I forgot to say that total makes each item around three dollars and seven cents per item which is really great 